Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to prove the given function from analytic. So, f of z is u plus iv and here we take x by separately the denominator x square plus y square and again plus minus y by x square plus y square and this term is with i. So, from this we can see u is x by x square plus y square and v is minus y by x square plus y square by comparing real part and the imaginary part on both the sides. Now let us find ux. It means we are going to do partial derivative with respect to x and y is treated as a constant. That is a quotient rule. So we have to differentiate the numerator u and the rule which we are going to follow here is when we have u by v form, its derivative is u dash v minus u v dash by v square. So, u dash is 1, v is written as it is x square plus y square minus u is x, v dash is this derivative is only 2x because y is treated as a constant, so it is 0. And here in the denominator, v square, it means x square plus y square whole square. And further, this becomes x square plus y square minus 2x square whole division x square plus y square whole square. So, finally, u x is x square, sorry, let us write y square first, then x square minus 2x square is minus x square whole division x square plus y square whole square. In the same way, we are going to find u y. In u y, the differentiation of the numerator is x which is 0. So, u dash into v is x square plus y square because here we treat x as a constant then minus and what happens is u v dash. So, u is this and v dash will become only 2y. x square is constant, y square is 2y. Whole division. Here it is x square plus y square whole square. So, anyway the first term is entirely 0. So, u y is minus 2x y by x square plus y square whole square. Now, coming to v. Let us find bx. It means y is treated as a constant. So, derivative of minus y becomes 0. So, totally this is 0 into denominator is written as it is. Then minus u. u itself minus y. So, let us make it as plus y into v dash. v dash is derivative of this with respect to x will be 2x and y will not come. So, I am just doing the quotient rule and after this bx will be 2xy by x square plus y square whole square. Now, in the same way, when we find vy, x is treated as a constant. So, u dash u dash is differentiation of minus y which is minus 1 and x square plus y square is written as it is and minus as per formula u v dash u we have to write as it is plus y then v dash is 2y now whole division x square plus y square whole square and totally this v y will become minus x square minus y square plus 2 y square whole division x square plus y square whole square. So, v y is these two when we combine it is y square then minus x square whole division x square plus y square whole square. 
So we completed all the partial derivative. Now we are going to check whether it satisfies the CR equation. So we take ux which is y square minus x square by x square plus y square whole square and vy both are same. So ux equal to vy. And again when we take uy it is minus 2xy by x square plus y square whole square. Let us see vx. It is same term with opposite side plus 2xy by x square plus y square whole square. So from this we can say ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. So it satisfies CR equations. CR equations are CR equations satisfied and also they are continuous in their own domain that is ux u y v x and v y are continuous in their domain and hence we can say it is analytic the given function is analytic.